it, it, hi everyone. Um, okay, I'm going to step off screen so that you can see how beautiful it is here. Go ahead. Uh, uh, it's kind of whited out, you know, because it's uh, but brilliantly blue sky. I'll post a picture later. Um, so I am at my house in Maine. I've left Mexico. I'm, uh, for some of you who know, when I'm not traveling or helping my family, I am at my house, which is on a mountain. I have like an off-grid lake house that's solar powered on a mountain in Maine. And my neighbors are animals. Oh, there it is. But you know, I can't see how beautiful blue the sky is. Anyway, so I'm here uh, reconnecting with nature. I am going to Virginia. So for all my Virginia friends, I'm going to teach my first in-person classes in, oh God, like over three and a half years. Wow. <laughs> um, on, uh, let me make sure I get the dates correct. On July 8th, on Saturday, July 8th, uh, Dahlia of uh, Crystal Cognizance and I are going to teach an all-day Prana Shakti class, which is, um, for all of our Prana Shakti people, it'll be like a, uh, just going over everything again and getting everyone reattuned. If you have any friends you want to bring, it would be a good basic class for them. It'll be really fun. And then on Saturday the 15th in Virginia, I'm going to lead a past life regression for the purpose of bringing whatever comes forward to help you with your life path for this life. And um, both of them are all day workshops. You can buy tickets on my website, benitawoods.org. Um, I'll put the link in the comments here. So I'm really excited. The last time I taught in-person classes was January of 2020, and they were spoon bending classes. And then I went to Mexico and then the world went crazy. And since then, everything's been online. Um, I look forward to doing spoon bending again, but um, that's not where we're at right now. <laughs> um, so I feel really lucky to talk to you all again. The last time I spoke to you was in like March when I said, oh, yay, I'm coming back. And then the universe was like, not quite yet. So a bunch of things happened, um, all of which were like super interesting and valuable for me, but a story for another time. And now I'm finally back. So I have some programs I'm bringing back. I've, I haven't been working with you all the last few years, but I've been working with my guides and, you know, the spirits and uh, shamans and brujas and uh, divine people on my own. So I have a lot of like wonderful things to share. A lot of manifestation. And I want to talk about that a little bit and then I'll hop off so I'm not like boring you with long stories. Um, I've really been working on what is manifestation? What is the art and the craft and the technique, the history, the bibliography of manifestation? Is I don't, it doesn't work the same for everyone. You learn one way of manifesting, that's awesome, but that won't work for everyone. Or even if it works for you in this situation, it won't work for you in that situation. So I've spent the last few years um, hanging out with like a lot of sacred, divine, holy people, healers, teachers, and talking with them about how they manifest, what what is their concept of manifestation? What techniques do they use? And I've amassed a library. <laughs> There's a shock. Akashic Girl is like research and library oriented. <laughs> so, um, so I will teach this online. Uh, this is definitely an online thing because we want to get a global mandala. 
part of the reason I want to do this is, you know, the world's going a little nuts and with climate change, um, the librarians want to work with me to teach manifestation um, and so that we can all work together to help our planet, which will be unique for each of us. Some of us are healing the planet. Some of us are protecting those we love. So going forward, we have our little group of, you know, our collectives with us. You know, some of us are tapping to other dimensions, but manifestation, creating what you're bringing your dreams to reality, that's manifestation. And there, again, I'm so excited. I've been doing a lot of manifesting the last couple of years, as you all know, and um, it's taken me to a lot of wonderful exotic places and brought me in with a lot of amazing people. And uh, some of you know, last winter, I was working with poets on manifesting. Like there's no one better to manifest with than poets because their, their brain is keyed up to take literal and turn it into a creative reimagining. So they're already like grounded and technical, but like spacey and receptive. We were like manifesting last winter like crazy. And, um, oh, hi, Denise, thank you. And <laughs> everything we manifested came true. So I um, said, I'm here in this ancient city in the mountains of central Mexico. Like, in order to get here from the U.S., it's several airplane trips and then a several-hour car ride. So it's not like... This is a place where people just nip to for a, a weekend getaway. It's not like Cancun, you know, this is like the opposite. It's ancient and holy and creative and a little hidden away. So I said, I'm going to manifest a Scotsman. I want to find Scotsman here in San Miguel de Allende, in Guanajuato, Mexico. And I got 12, 12 uh, two Scottish women, no, three Scottish women, it's actually 14, three Scottish women and 11 Scottish men, all within a short period of time. It was the craziest thing. There was one night when I was going out with my family, and um, I said to them, I know I'm going to meet a Scotsman tonight. And we went out to a restaurant, and, you know, the restaurants here, be, uh, are, they're open air. Most of the restaurants are open air in the courtyard of an ancient hacienda. And so we went to this old stone courtyard and there was a band playing and we're enjoying the music. But I was like really confused. I know I'm supposed to meet a Scotsman tonight. I felt it. And um, oh, thanks. I missed you too. I really have. I've missed all of you so much. Okay, so we're enjoying our evening, and I'm like, I know I'm supposed to meet a Scotsman. No Scotsman, just people, Mexican, U.S., Canadian, some Europeans, but everyone enjoying the music, eating their food. No Scotsman. So then we walked up to the Jardin, the, uh, the central plaza where the main church is, because um, most nights there's multiple mariachi bands roaming around, and uh, they don't take tips. It's if you want them to play a song, you pay them 200 pesos and the band will play whatever you ask. And everyone else gets to just enjoy. So uh, we went up there, we're listening to the mariachi bands. I said to my friends and my family, I don't understand. What happened to my Scotsman? Where's my Scotsman? And then right in front of us walked a man wearing a kilt, a Scottish kilt. <laughs> And my family looked at me, and I'm like, okay. And he stopped, and he said, you know, oh, you know, what, what is so fun? You're, you're having such enjoyment, and introduced himself, and we started talking. So manifestation, it's, um, you know, obviously, like, I manifested my house, actually. This house was a gift from the Akashic Librarians to me. And um, 
Yeah, Misty, that's very awesome. And I manifested like the kind of life I'm living now where I'm traveling around and, you know, we already have a bunch of trips set up for next year where I'm going, let's see, I'm here in Maine and then I'm going to spend the summer back and forth between Maine, Virginia and Florida. But I'll be mostly in Virginia and then um, sometime in the fall, October, November, I'm going back to Mexico. We already have all sorts of great trips set up in, in Mexico that I look forward to sharing with you. Uh, in fact, I have a lot of trips on the last few months that I just kept personal and I need to share them with you. So manifestation, I'm going to set up some kind of online program for manifestation. If you're in Virginia and you wanna see me, I will set up to do some in-person private sessions. Um, it's changed a little bit since the last time most of you all had that. Before it was, do you want to like connect with your soul? Do you want a past life reading? Do you want to like uh, talk to the Akashic librarians? Now it's sort of like all of it merged together. Like the information that comes through, like it used, they're separate frequencies. And before I had to go into just one or another but now um, I'm capable of connecting with all the frequencies. We're in Florida, uh, Vero Beach, Vero Beach. Um, so that's a uh, central East Coast. Um, but that'll just be a short trip. And so um, I do sessions, they run hour and a half, two hours, and um, they can be in person or online. So I will be doing those in person in Virginia. This will probably be my last time in Virginia for a long time. And I'll have the Prana Shakti class with Dahlia Rose and the past life regression. We're gonna do two hours of learning about past life regression. Why are past lives with you in this life? Why do they come forward? And then we'll have a lunch break and then we'll have two hours of learning to uh, see your life path for this life and where you've been on your life path and where you've gone off of it for whatever reason. So we never follow our life path exactly because we don't remember the path we gave to ourselves. So it's all about the karmic lessons and re-navigating your path and then the lives that are with you from your past that are with you in the here and now, they're either here because they need your help or, ooh, 30 minutes from Vero Beach. Awesome. Maybe we can set something up. That would be fun. So they're either with you in this life because they need your help, like resolving a life lesson or releasing a pain, or they're with you in this life because they believe they can help you. The challenges you're going up against, maybe a past life has a strength to either protect you or help you with your forward momentum or your focus or you know, help with the magnetic attraction of your life path, or they're with you because they think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I call those the peanut gallery past lives because they're just like having fun, watching. They're like, this is gonna be super entertaining. And they help out a little bit when they feel like it. So what we'll do is take the your connection with your past lives and bring them to help you navigate your life path in this life. It is a very powerful tool. It took me decades to master this skill, decades in this life, but I'm very, very excited. Yes, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, and until then, right now, Mitzi, uh, my chihuahua, and I are hiking like about 10 miles a day up here. We're just going through the woods and from wetland to mountaintop. It's just so beautiful and sacred here. Uh, I look forward to bringing all of this energy back to Virginia. Okay, so like I said, I've been a little like working too much and then retreating for like reclaiming self. 
and but now I feel like I'm <laughs> a little more balanced and I look forward to uh, chatting with you all a little bit letting the librarians share their messages on how we can help our planet towards its healing and its future and its growth so uh I look forward to catching up with you all. That's it. That's 15 minutes. That's like eight minutes longer than I planned on. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone.